my name is Kathy Fillion. Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. Today we've got a project using dollar store spoons. We're gonna be transforming these into what we're calling Zoom spoons. This will be a really fun way that students can communicate with their classmates and their teachers and their camp counselors over Zoom. We're just gonna be using some emojis and some gloss Mod Podge. You ready to do it, Steve? Hello everybody and welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. Yes, Kathy, I am ready to do this. I am Steve Piacenza. And today we're gonna to have a fun day making Zoom spoons. Now for you guys that don't know what Zoom spoons are, these are spoons made for pretty much kids out of dollar store spoons, some paint and some emoji printouts and some lettering for Zoom classes. Now let's say the teacher in a Zoom class would ask the kids a question, a yes or no question. The kids can either give a thumbs up or a thumbs down for a yes or no question. There's also ones that say snack time. If it's something funny that happens, we got the laughing emoji with the ha 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 letters. We also have ones that say yes, love it, uh, a question mark for maybe one of those kids that don't quite understand what the question is. It's like, what? Because during the Zoom class, if all the kids answered at the exact same time, it'd be complete chaos. So these are a really fun way to communicate on the computer without actually saying it. So fun for teachers to make, fun for kids to make. These are great for administrators. Really easy to make, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today and right now. So let's get to it. We are using a dollar store wood spoons. I'm gonna bring these back so they're not going away completely yet. I'm gonna be pushing some pictures up there so you can see them throughout the, uh, the, the class here. So I'm using a wooden spoon first. Now these come in sometimes packs or single. I got a pack of four of these for a buck. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is paint it. So I'm using the, I'm gonna do this one purple. So this is called light lavender and this is the folk art paint. So we're gonna be using a bunch of different colors, but this is the one I'm gonna be using right now. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna prime it before you paint it. I did a step ahead. You're gonna prime your, um, your wooden spoon with some home decor chalk. This is great, great primer. So that's what I've done already. And what the primer actually does, it just makes the paint go on so much easier and you have it's less coats with the primer. So we painted this one with the home decor chalk and then magically we have one painted already. So we did both sides. So we also used this one. It's a turquoise color that we used. You can find all sorts of colors in the full the folk art uh, color spectrum is huge. These are two-sided, so I just painted that purple um, just to save time. I don't need to show you guys how to paint this purple because I know you guys have done this a thousand times painting with the folk art. So we painted this, and then the next thing is you're going to want to put your icon, your emoji icon on, on top of your spoon. Now I let this dry for about 45 minutes, of course, bef uh, after I painted it. And we're just going to position this right on top here. Now I'm gonna be doing laugh out loud on this one. So I'm gonna get the letters that say LOL. So you wanna make sure that you position your emoji cutout just so. With my chunky fingers here. Somewhere right in there. So of course I'm gonna be using the Mod Podge Gloss. Again, guys, you can use the matte finish, the satin finish. It all works great. So here are some of the emojis that we have used on this, the waving hands, the, um, the uh, emoji hearts, the apple, the thumbs up, thumbs down, and the laughing. Let's take our gloss, and all I'm gonna do is gonna put a little right there on the back of it really simple this is really a simple fun project for teachers for kids principals administrators anybody that's doing 
the Zoom classes. And I'm gonna position this pretty, right, a little bit higher than lower, because again, I'm just going to be putting my LOL underneath that, and I want it to fit. Now, I've got these stick-on letters, which are great. Let's open these guys up. And these come with the letters and numbers, so you can get a lot out of these. You can do quite a few spoons with all these letters. So I love using these because they're very simple. Um, you don't have to paint the letters or stencil the letters on. You can just go directly with the stickers and drop those right on in. So let's get our first one off. I like working sometimes with the middle letter first so you can space it right on out there. So I'm gonna put the O down. Okay. LOL, look at that. That's fun. So this is one where if you're in the classroom, they say something funny, you hold your spoon up, and it is a laugh out loud situation. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we are going to go into painting. And I'm gonna do a really simple pattern today. I'm just gonna go across. Let's get our black out here. And I will start right up here at the top. And I'm just gonna go across this way. I'm gonna go across right here, super organic, just back and forth. And then I want to use the Q-tip. So with the Q-tip, you wanna get some on your Q-tip and then kind of wring it out a little bit because they expand a little bit and they hold a lot of paint, believe it or not. So you just wanna make sure and do your first one going down. They make a nice little organic circle there. It's time to seal it, and we're sealing it with the Gloss Mod Podge right now. Like I said earlier, you can seal it with the matte finish or the satin finish. Works well. We are going to just go directly on top with our Mod Podge, right on top of the entire spoon, over the paint, over the paper emoji, and over the stick-on letters. You wanna go over the entire thing Make sure you hit those edges and just give it a nice coat. This is going to protect your spoon and your kid's hands. You know how kids can get pretty grubby. This is going to be perfect sealer for the Zoom spoons. Go along the edge here. There we go. And this will be dry in a matter of, oh, I'm just gonna let this sit until somebody wants to use it. But this will dry, of course, very quickly within 20 minutes. Okay, there we have it. There is our Zoom Spoon. Finished from start to finish. Here are some other ones. Very fun, very easy to make. And I've enjoyed making these. Here we go, there's your final product. So here you go, guys. Here's all the Zoom Spoons that we made. These are fun for the kids. Again, fun for teachers, fun for the administration, the principal. You guys can make them. Parents and kids can make these together. These are fun for the Zoom, the Zoom classes. That was hard to say. So give it a try. Again, uh, dollar store wooden spoons, some folk art paint, uh, printed out emojis, and of course, Mod Podge. And don't forget to hashtag Mod Podge and hashtag Plaid Crafts and show us everything you make. Hopefully it's going to be a Zoom spoon. We'd love to see them and hope to see you here next time on Make It With Mod Podge. See you guys.